Hello, hi. Hey, Patrick, I hear you just waiting for your video. Can you hear me? Hello? Yep, I hear you just waiting for your video. I just asked you to start. Okay, one second, start the video, okay. Got Hello, it. hi. Hi, Patrick, very nice to see you. Yes, how are you, Kiana, good? I'm doing very well, thank you for asking. I just wanna make sure that I connected you with Sal. I will okay. leave you guys to it, I'll be back in 15 minutes. See you then, thank you. Enjoy. Hi, Patrick, how are you? Hi, Sally, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. What but time is it over there? It's now one half one in Ireland. Oh, gosh. I'm watching the Olympic Games. Yes, we, we were watching that last night. We're going to sit down and watch the rest of it today. It's fabulous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've just We've a few Irish people in there. We actually have their tip to win some medals in boxing and hopefully some rowing as well, like, you know, to end gymnastics, like, you know, one gymnast as well. It's bonkers seeing it without the crowd, isn't it? It's unusual. It's strange. I mean, look at Sydney, two thousand, the year two thousand, when he had that great show, where, like he put on there the opening ceremony and Slim Dusty closing it off the closing ceremony at that, that time. Yeah. It's it's a big change. The world has just gone crazy, Sally. The last the last year and a half. Yeah, but we get to do something like this, so that's it's good. A bonus yeah, exactly. that come out of it. Wentworth, it's just, oh, um, like Lucy Gambaro, she was just uh, really kind of very kind of um, devious and so dangerous, I always thought, like, you know, yeah. with no brains, yeah. of course, either. <laughs> oh, no, she had brains, but not in the right department. Uh, yeah, think. yeah, yeah. I'm just looking at you, looking at your work, the, the amount of episodes you've done in Wentworth is actually the most highest ever in your acting career on TV, actually, was as well. Well, it's the longest running show on TV that you're a part of for a long time. I was only supposed to do five apps, so to get four seasons out of it, blessing. So, yeah, yeah. So it's like any actor, you do bits and pieces there, but when you land something like this, it's fantastic. Yeah, brilliant. She was just, she's some great kind of, I mean, the scene, of course, of course, with the, the tongue, of course, like that was like very, that was brutal with Pamela Rabe and the dentist surgery. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, they it was call just... it they call it tongue gate over here. <laughs> she had a coming she had that time, but I think though Lucy in some ways she had though. I didn't kind of there were some things I didn't she she was of course she played her brilliantly, of course, but she was a bit of a devious character and you wouldn't really feel sorry for her because the way she that she treated people sometimes as well, I think, like you know. Absolutely. She had her upcomings. Yeah. Yeah. So are you are you working the moment, Sal? I am. I am. I all through last year for COVID, because um, I work on Neighbours as a nurse and also as an actor. They wanted to keep the production up, so they asked me to come on and be the frontline nurse to all check right. everybody in. I actually haven't seen the episodes actually. And I was watching Neighbours. Neighbours, of course, is shown here. It is in Ireland. It actually is, and I've seen Sharina Clark's um, no Sharina Clanton's um, her her episodes. Yeah. Well, I was in as Vera through some of that. And I'm about to shoot some more next week for Christmas that will be over to you for Christmas. I'll try and Vera. see if, I'll try and see it if I can. I lived in I lived in Australia for a while. I visited a neighbor's set I was there in um in Fitzroy in oh. Melbourne. So where about you're in Ireland now? I'm in Ireland now in Dublin. Yeah, it's very hot at the moment right. as well here at the moment. We we usually don't get very much sun here. So we're kind of very it's a heat wave the last few days, last week. That'll last about 10 days. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going down the country tomorrow, so it could rain down there as well. But it's good to have the sunshine actually out. But, of course, you know, the pandemic is still kind of, you know, it's still quite high here as well. It's, it's all over. I'm even reading Australia again now we're getting our, our lockdown. Sydney, oh, we're there? in lockdown. I'm in lockdown. We're all really? in lockdown here. Sydney's gone rampant. They won't shut it down. So we're, we're in a terrible predicament. Our rollout of the vaccine is very delayed. Um, so yeah, it's it's we're in trouble, you know. And where are you and, living, Sal? Where are you living yourself? In where I'm in Melbourne. In Melbourne, yeah. yeah. And they're on lockdown too, like a Sydney, yes. Well, they just locked locked down because the Sydney people were coming over and yeah, infecting exactly, us. Yeah. So our our premier goes, well, we're we'll going to lockdown, but the Sydney premier doesn't want to do that, and they get they're going to have to because we're mm -hmm. not going to get it. And are, are people in Australia not, not willing to kind of take the jab? I heard that that as well. Is that is that true? Well, it's because it's not like in England where you get, you know, you could have a choice of AstraZeneca or Pfizer. Like they've, our prime minister's just been appalling. He got a whole lot of AstraZeneca, 
And then he turned around and dictated that people over 50 couldn't receive the visor and all of that. You had to get the Astra and, and people are going, I don't want the AstraZeneca because mm -hmm. it's got clotting issues and people are frightened. So yeah. I got um, my more first people jab. would turn up. More people I got my first jab last month and I get my second jab actually Wednesday. It's um, Pfizer as well. So yeah. that, you know. Yeah. So we must take it. I mean, to, like, we must take it to get to get into like you know pubs and restaurants and to travel, of course, as well. That's the way, that's the. Of I see, course, like. we do, but we've got to be able to go and get whatever jab we want in our arm, and there's got to be jabs there to be had, and there isn't. Mm. Screen star events. You were there before, weren't you, Sal, in the UK? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I. I didn't twice. get. The, I didn't go that time. You were with Libby Tanner, weren't you? Yeah. The first time Libby Tanner, and the second time I was on my own. All right, yeah. If you come again, I probably will see you over there, like, you know, too. Oh, definitely. Well, we want to do that once COVID yeah. settles down. Are you still we'll watching? Be... I'm looking forward to the next. It's actually a month today now. It starts, I think, the last series of Wentworth. That's right. Yeah. And are you, have you any part this time? Have I what? Have you any role in the, in the series this time? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. I'll I'm have not... to kill you if I tell you. I'm looking forward to it, though. Oh, yeah. And and, and it needs to finish because to have a full I think stop so, on yeah. the series, mm. oh, it's wonderful to have that. Um, so we're, they're just starting to run the whole lot of it and leading up to that, and then everybody will see it at the same the time. The 24th of August. It's a long time we're waiting as well, I think, Sal, for the last series as well, I think, you know. But yeah. we, we have another month to go, so it's not too long. No, no. Mm -hmm. It's been a great. So, what do you got... do over there? Hmm? What do you do over there? I work in retail at the moment. I work in retail. Okay. Is I, that I'm all big, right? I'm a big fan of the show, of course. I went with. I went to the. I went to all the screen star events in the UK. I met Pamela Rabe. I've met Bernard Curry. I've met um, Cela Ireland, Cam, Tammy McIntosh, Leah Purcell, Susie Porter. They're all great there. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. It's it's great to be in such a show. That's been such a great success as well, Sal. Well, eighty-six countries is amazing, isn't it? Yeah, and of course you're neighbours as well. That's another. That's good as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm having fun out there. The costume I've got for next week is just hysterical. I must catch the episodes. You've worked on TV a lot. You've worked with many Australian actors. You worked with Lynn McGregor, did you once on theatre from Home and Away, Irene? Yeah, well, me and Lynn, me and Lynn, um, we met in Albury, Wodonga, and we used to have our own stand-up act that we did together mm. and the natural normans for many years and what so, part of australia are you originally from um sal i'm originally from england i'm from yorkshire oh yorkshire originally but you moved to the you moved into the um, to australia at what age or i was i was six all right all right yeah i came out on the migrant scheme um with my parents it's like Magda so Zabanski as well. She think, she was born in England, I think, as well, and she went to Australia as well as a young age. That's right. She was part of that scheme. So mm -hmm. I lived mainly in... I, I moved to Wyala originally, which is really rural, central australia -y type of thing. And then I moved to Sydney and did all my schooling and all that in Sydney. And then I moved to Albury-Wodonga, and that's where I met Lynn McGranger. Mm -hmm. And then I was there for seven and a half years in the theatre troupe. And then we, me, me and Lynn moved to Melbourne in 88 to do our act in yeah. the comedy festival. I lived in Osmos Isle for a while. I was in Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Queensland, Canberra. I was there in 2015. It was good. It was a nice break. It was, yeah. So which, what, what did you prefer? They were all pretty good, like, you know, they were all pretty good, like, you know, as well. They were good. It was a good, it was a good experience, like. Have you ever been to this part? Have you ever been to Ireland, Sal? No, but next time I come to England, I definitely want that's I want to go there, I want to go to Holland, and I want to go to Italy. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully now travel will kind of you know it's kind of getting back some ways that people can travel after a while, like when all the vaccination process will be over, like you know. Yeah, they've reckoned two thousand and twenty-four. It'll be free flowing. Mm. Have you watching Ashley Barty? Did you see her win Wimbledon? She was very good. Who? Ashley Barty. She won Wimbledon this just last month. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, and she's in the Olympics. We can't wait. I like her, yeah, as well. Isn't she gorgeous? She's, and she's she so like Yvonne Gulagong Kali, that same generation and time yeah. and, like, you know, too, yes. like, as well. 
Very much so. Very much mm-hmm. so. So when worked, yeah, it, she was just Lucy was one of those characters where you were just like, like oh, you'd be like, oh, she was just very kind of like, you know, there was no kind of really good side to her, a good kind of heart and character, but she was just, I think she just kind of wanted to kind of step up, but she wasn't, then they would laugh at her. I think she kind of wanted to do something out there as well, you know, I think, you know, sometimes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, she wanted to be top dog. And you see as well how she kind of, you know, she when she had hepatitis and she spread it on to Vera then as well, that, you know, as well. It was very kind of, some things she were kind of very nasty. There were more, there was two. Yeah, but was it, was it Juice that did that? All right, yeah. I'm thinking again, like, I, have to, I must recap. It's, it's all kind of, I must go back to it again before this, it starts up, like. But yeah, it's a great thing for you to be on the show, as I said, like, you know, to work with all oh, these great wonderful. actors. Yeah, yeah. Mm. No, we all felt that about each other, which was great. It was a mm-hmm. good camaraderie, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, we'll see what happens in the last... I'm looking forward to the last series, and we'll see what actually happens at the end of it, you know, too. It's going to be good, like, you know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Which way it will go? Which way yeah. the moth will flop? I remember the hospital scene as well. Like, you know, too, when she's inside and she's writing on... She, obviously, her, her tongue is cut off, she can't speak, and she writes to Vera. Say the word. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> she has just so kind of her, like she's very kind of what's the word? Um, I think she came from a very bad background. I think Lucy Gambaro. I think you know. Oh, absolutely. She's been damaged since uh, her childhood. I reckon, mm-hmm. and that's why she does what she does. And mm-hmm. the reason why she got back at the freak was because she knows the freak was torturing people, mm-hmm. and so she got back. And she didn't do it. She got a boys to do it because it was to speak for all of the people that have been raped and pillaged. I think that's what that's my mentality when I was going into that scene, you know, mm. yeah. um, because you can't be doing that stuff if you if it hasn't happened to you. There's got to be a reason why well, the, juicy the is a bad The freak was air. very clever, though. She played around for a while and then she got her eventually in the next series, you see, as well. That's one thing yeah. about the freak. She kind of waits around for a while. She doesn't do anything straight away, but she kind of waits for a while, you know, too, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's but a Pamela, she's a good actress. She is too, Pamela Rabe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think most people on the show were great. They really stuck they were into all good their cast, character. All a great cast, like all even the yeah. ones who were supporting the, the cast. I think they were all brilliant. They were all, un- yes. they're all, they're all unforgettable, I think, you know, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you look at Jackie, she was only supposed to be in the first series. She's been right the way through. Yeah, she's been brilliant you know, as well. Like she's been, she's too, been yeah, fabulous. Yeah. She's brilliant, yeah. yeah. And what's the plan for after then? Will you continue on working with Neighbours then? At the moment, I am. I'm working on there looking after the little babies. They've got a storyline with babies because I'm a nurse. I, I go on look after those babies and make sure that they're all right. Mm-hmm. And then I go on next week as an actor and do my scenes. Yeah, it's very uh, popular, of course, here in Ireland. I, I, we, I watch it there some days, like, you know, when, when I'm actually off. I see it there, like, you know, too, of course, the Kennedys and all the people. And, you know, what's the other guy's name again? Stefan Dennis, who plays the... What's his name again? The main character, Stefan Dennis in, in Neighbours? Stefan, yeah. yes. Yeah. He plays um, Paul. Okay. Paul Robinson, doesn't he? Yeah, yes. yeah that's right, yeah. Okay. yeah. So any co- any quotes from Sam, Lucy, you can tell, you can say now, like, while you're here, like, or anything else? <laughs> what, like what? I'm you, thinking, you like, i them all. <laughs> Ferguson. It was Ferguson. Ferguson. Yeah, it's like kick ass, take no prisoners, just go for it. And the tattoos as yeah. well, yeah, you had like you know two, yeah. Yeah, they were good. They they were good. It took a, about two hours, two and a half hours to put everything on, but I, I could see. keep my tats going for a couple of weeks. Was I was good. reading last year as well on Twitter that you were actually campaigning as well for Australian actors last year during the pandemic too, weren't you as well? Yes, with the VABT, yeah. 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 I'm the president of that charity and it's to help actors and crew in need because a lot of people think actors are just loaded and, you know, they see them on television and they think they're, but they're not. And we got slammed last year from the government. And especially with the whole arts, the theatre, oh, it's all over the world. I mean, all every country with the theatre now as well being off and not being able to go back in other places for such a, you know, it's it's really, it's it's a real mess it is, Sally, it's good to say it like, you know. Yeah. You just can't yeah. plan anything you can't anymore, like, you know, the way things have gone. 
So is it like that in Ireland? Is is things shut down? We're coming down? down out of lockdown. We're we're we're, we're out of lockdown, of course. The last I'm actually worked the last couple of months, but like it's just it's restrictions are easing down. From Monday onwards, we can eat inside in a restaurant or a, or a bar, which you must have your your um like your vaccine passport. And I I like that'll take a while for me to get because I'm my second job is going to be on Wednesday, obviously as well. Like you know. Nah. And you can eat outside, like, which is okay now when we have hot weather, but it will change after a while. And eating out, drinking outside is going to be like, you know, a no-no as well, like, you know. So at the moment, you, you've got to have a passport to eat inside. Yeah, it, it, from, from Monday on, like, from Monday onwards, you can eat inside and drink inside, but you must have your vaccinated passport, like, with you, that you're fully vaccinated, like, you know. Right. And your friend and may not be vaccinated. Your friend may not be vaccinated, or your son or daughter may not be vaccinated, but they'll 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 have to stay outside kind of a thing, like you know, too. Yeah. Okay. So it's still a bit uh, like not. It's still we're getting there, but not one hundred percent there yet. It's going to take another another while, Sal. Okay. okay. Well, you stay well. It's been lovely yeah. talking to you. Meeting Same to you. you, and we'll look, we'll look forward to the last series of Wentworths. Okay. Hopefully, Lucy Cambara will be there. You never know. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Thanks Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.